Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys so much. <laughs> um, I mean, it's been a while since I sat down and actually had a chat with you guys. Anyway, so today I've got a video that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. My lips are crusty because I don't have any lip stuff on them besides coconut oil. It was the closest thing I could find. <laughs> So I have coconut oil on my lips and I am going to be trying out four nude lip glosses, some of my favorites and um, I just want to show you guys how I wear them, what they look like with different, um, with different, what is this, lip liners and all of that type of jazz. I know a lot of people are like, Oh no, nude does not look good on me, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to wear nude lipsticks or nude lip glosses and all of that stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite nude lipsticks and talk about the different brands and the different textures and the feel of it all. Because these are all lip glosses. Some are crushed lips, crushed liquid lips. And others are matte others are glossy and yeah others are sheer they have like a bit of glitter so it's just like a different range but they all have like a similar tone they all have a similar hue and that's what works for me but obviously i wouldn't wear this type of lipstick on its own i definitely have to go in with a liner because i just like the whole look <laughs> anyway so if you guys are interested then do make sure that you stay tuned okay so the first one i'm going to start with is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. This is what it looks like. Can you guys see that? There we go. And it comes in 6 milliliters and it's called a Juicy Date. I got these from a PR drop. So I always love trying out new things. And I'm here for it. So I'm going to start with my... Lick, um, what is this? My lip liner. This is uh, Chestnut from MAC. So I'm going to use that for lining my lips. There we go. So let me line my lips. So the first thing I like when I line my lips, I always make sure that I go over my lip because for the longest time, I, I don't know, I feel like my lips are like small. So ever since I started overlining, I can't stop. I'm addicted to it. So you don't have to do it, but I like doing it. So I'll just go slightly over my lip line. I know some people just draw like a straight line and they don't carve out the cupid's bow, but for me, I think I prefer this technique. That all the way there. And then what I like doing is going in with a lighter thingy, with a lighter pencil, which is, this one is the Givenchy lip liner in the color 5W01. I can't see any other color here. So it's 5W01. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to hit that in the middle. Okay. And then this is actually a lip color on its own, I feel like. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Bobby Brown. And there you have it. That's the first color. In love. Okay guys, so that was the first shade. Now the second shade I'm going to try out is the Givenchy... What color is this? I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Gloss into Dit something i don't know i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly and this is what it looks like i hate the applicator of this thing but let's get into it 
so like i did with the other one i'm definitely going to line my lips because this is also a lighter shade if i swatch it on my arm you'll see this is light and it has let me swatch it on my hand and it has glitters so you definitely this is something that i would wear if i'm going on a night out i don't know if i would wear this during the day even though it is a nude but because of the glittery stuff and also because it's a lighter shade it can make um it can make you look a bit mm, questionable <laughs> during the day so if you've got uh like a night out then definitely try this out so i'm gonna go in with my chestnut my mac chestnut do the same thing i did with the other one i can't help myself i have to overline my lips so okay let's go in can you see how light that thing is oh my god And with this, what I've noticed with this lip color is that it settles into your lips. Like, the minute you put it on, like, it's not going to be... You're not going to see. Ugh, this applicator is the worst. This is definitely a gloss. Like, no two ways about it. I'm going to go just one more. Just here. Like I said, it's definitely a gloss. It's shimmery. Let me zoom in and you guys can see that. Okay, and then the second last um, lip gloss that I have is this Essence one, which is my favorite. I've been using this lip gloss for the past two, if not three years. It's done me nothing but good. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this lip gloss besides the fact that it always runs out at clicks because we are loving it. The girls are loving it. I'm sure I'm not the only one who uses this lip gloss. So, today, no, for this one I'm going to be using the NYX deeply intoxicated lip liner there we go and then we're gonna apply maybe um, let me go in with this a just a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with the gloss <sighs> even the smell of this lip gloss is just like oh my god And there we go. Okay guys, so the last lip color I'm going to be using is this one. This is the, what color is this? Number 10, I think it's 10 Epic. It's called Epic and this is from the Puma and Maybelline collaboration. I actually got this from the launch and I'm super, super, super excited to try this color specifically. I've tried out all the other ones. I haven't tried out this one because I left it for this video and I want to see how it's going to look on me. So Ritual, we know, lip liner and I'm going in with the Chestnut from MAC. I did put a little bit of um, coconut oil on my lips just so that product can move around easily. I do not want to scrape or you know do funny things to my lips because they're very sensitive so let's go <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in with the lip color i'm really nervous when it comes to matte lipsticks or lip glosses well this is not lip gloss so i'm guessing it's like a matte super stay <laughs> it's not a lip gloss so i'm gonna apply that color is very pretty very light mm. why is it doing that it's separating hmm I think it's maybe because I put the what do you call this the coconut oil 
Let me try and remove it and see if I can reapply it. It's very pigmented, so you don't need to go in with a lot of product. Okay, so there you go. This is definitely for not. It's not for this look. It's not for this eye look. This is for something completely different. But I dig it. So there you have it guys those are my four favorite lippies at the moment but definitely from the four i do have two favorites and it's these two it's the essence and the bobby brown now these two are, they're very similar in color and i feel like even the feel is similar but it, they have a very different not very but like they do have a different finish to them this one is more glossy. This one is more muted. It's almost like this one is like the older sister to this one. This is like the fun, very vibrant little sister. And this is the more subtle, very, very there, very present, but and does the job. It moisturizes like all of the things that are not that much because I wouldn't call this a moisturizer. I wouldn't put this if I wanted to moisturize my lips. This I put when I want to gloss my lips. But this I can definitely put if I just just a little bit to gloss my lips up. I mean to um, moisturize. It does have a little bit of moisture than this one. So these are my two favorites. Not saying that I don't like these two, but they are definitely not my everyday go-to lip glosses or lip lippies or whatever you call them. They're definitely not my go-to. This is a matte finish, which I'm not that crazy about. Matte finishes are usually very tricky for me because i have dry lips but i definitely love the color i love how it looks it's definitely for an occasion it's not something that you would wear every single day for me this is also definitely for an occasion and you definitely need a liner for this one because it's way too sheer and it has the glitters so if you are not a glitter person then mm, i wouldn't recommend this for you but if you are going on a night out and you want to look bomb and you want your lips to be popping, then this is definitely um, the lippy to go to, to go for. But yeah, guys, and in terms of my lip liners, all of these lip liners I love and I use them for very different reasons. Um, I like this one as a base for most of my, this is the Givenchy, I like this as a base for most of my lip glosses and um, lipsticks. Um, I like to overline or line my lips <laughs> with these two for just creating like an ombre effect or like making the look complete because I do feel like if you put on lip gloss, even lipsticks without lip liner, especially if they're not hyper pigmented, if they like flash tone or they resemble the color of your lips, it's really nice or if they're even lighter, it's really nice to go in with a liner first because it does sort of give like a barrier to um where your lips start and where the rest of your face is you know <laughs> so yeah guys that is it for me anyway guys that is it for today's video thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you on my next one please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video give it a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i release a new video <laughs> oh and also like I, I thought of this at the beginning of the year, but I didn't come to it. I didn't come around to doing it. I wanted um, to come up with a name for you guys, but obviously I'm trash at that. So I wanted you guys to help me come up with the name for the gang. I feel like everybody has a gang name and I don't have, I don't know what to call you guys. So I just call you guys or I don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions, then please let me know. Thank you so much again. Bye guys. Love you.